So one of my friends told me that this is the king of nuggets. Oh, you think so? You think that that is the case, do ye? Oh, you do, do ye? No. I think that there's a new king in town, and he's about to have it his way. and welcome back to episode eight of But Better. The series where we take coveted cult fast foods and junk foods and recreate them at home using classic cooking techniques with the hopes of making it better. Okay, so we're making McDonald's McNuggets. It's happening, the thing is happening. I've already done Chick-fil-A Nuggets, that was super fun. Do I think that either of these guys are the king of nuggets? No. The McDonald's McNuggets seem to have some sort of a charm. I don't get it. We're gonna taste it and it's gonna be great, okay? So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? It's a time for McDonald's. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is like a breach of my own morals. What are we getting? Oh yeah, McNuggets. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We got the bag. The golden arches have arrived to our home. I didn't think that they would break the forefront, but they pushed and I opened my palace doors. We got the McNuggies. Nuggies. I haven't eaten these in a long time and I'm a little bit scared, but we do this for science. Not really crispy, but I haven't had this in so long and yet it, it really does taste familiar. Barbecue sauce. That sound good to you? Not bad, but I think we're finna have it my way. Now before we make our thicky nuggies, we're gonna make a quick barbecue sauce. Now stay with me here. You're gonna need one cup or 270 grams of ketchup, a quarter cup or 63 grams of dark brown sugar, one tablespoon or seven grams of smoked paprika, one tablespoon or 10 grams of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons or four grams of kosher salt, one tablespoon or 15 grams of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons or 25 grams of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, look, I know there's a lot of ingredients, right? Stay calm, stay calm. We're almost there. One and a half tablespoons or 16 grams of Chi Kyung vinegar or Chinese black vinegar. Three tablespoons or 35 grams of rye whiskey, which is optional. <sighs> okay, I know it's a lot of ingredients. Okay, just please. Half a cup or 120 milliliters of water, three tablespoons or 35 grams of white distilled vinegar, and an optional splash of shiradashi. After that, it's really simple. Just whisk it together, bring it up to a simmer, and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's thicky sticky like this. And you've got yourself a beautiful barbecue sauce that's ready for any chicken nugget. Which, speaking of. Okay, so if we're gonna make chicky nuggies, you're gonna need chicken. I broke down this whole chicken just for the flex. But really, you're gonna need one and a half pounds of chicken breast and about a quarter of a pound of chicken skin. All right, everybody's all like, ew, yucky. Well, it's flavor, okay? Cut your chicken breast into one inch cubes and rough chop the chicken skin. Now look, I know this next process is a little scary, okay? I'm grinding the meat through a meat grinder, but it's just a kitchen and attachment. It's like 40 bucks or something like that. The link for mine is in the description, but if you don't want to do it that way, then you can absolutely do it in a food processor. Just make sure to get it as fine as possible. Now, once all of your meat and skin has been ground, place that in a bowl and toss together with two teaspoons or 14 grams of kosher salt, one teaspoon or seven grams of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon or one gram of MSG. Yes, the right way to make McNuggets. Toss all that together until thoroughly combined. You should make one big chicken nugget. <laughs> until it's nice and homogenous like this. Then place it in the freezer for 10 minutes to firm up. While we're waiting, let's set up our fry station. Fill a heavy bottom pot up with enough oil to go up around two and a half to three inches high, but not more than like 60% full. According to my research, there's a three part breading process. First, you're gonna make a very thin batter consisting of a quarter cup or 45 grams of cornstarch, whisked together with one cup or 240 milliliters of water, and that's it. Next, a flour dredge consisting of three cups or 450 grams of all-purpose flour, one heaping tablespoon or 22 grams of kosher salt, half a teaspoon or two grams of MSG, one teaspoon or three grams of fresh ground white pepper, and one teaspoon or two grams of celery powder. Whisk that together until thoroughly combined. Blah, blah, whiskey business, yeah. Then pour that into a shallow eight by eight baking dish. And last is some sort of weird tempura batter that consists of half a cup or 75 grams of cornstarch. Yeah, pat that out. Really good idea, Josh, nice work. Three quarters of a cup or 103 grams of all-purpose flour, one and a quarter teaspoon or four grams of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon or one gram of baking soda. Whisk that together until thoroughly combined and one cup or 240 milliliters of chilled water. Add two whisked eggs to that. Whisk until everything's thoroughly combined and that's your tempura stuff. Now to make your nuggets, you're gonna take out your firmed ground chicken, and you're gonna form them into chicken nugget-esque shapes. Mine were a little bit thick, but you know how I feel about that. 27 C's, baby. If they're too sticky, lightly wet your hands before shaping. Now in batches, first drop them in your thin cornstarch mixture, then toss with the flour mixture until thoroughly coated, shaking off the excess flour, and last, dip them in your tempura batter. Now wait. From the tempura batter, you're gonna quickly drop them into oil that's been set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Optionally, if you want some extra flakiness, you can bring them to the surface using a spider, and just let your battered hands drip all over the nuggy. 
piece. Again, that's optional and requires some skill. You can totally skip that if you want. Then just let those fry for five to seven minutes in batches or until nice and golden brown. Remove them and place them on a wire rack to cool and repeat with the rest. And next thing you know, you got McNuggets at home with a barbecue sauce that will make you sob yourself to sleep. It's time, bros. These are mine. Hello. And then this is the uh, McDonald's one. Obviously mine are a little bigger because I like it extra thicky sticky. Now the McDonald's nugget. We're back again. It's weird, right? Like it tastes good, but I, I still hate it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just taste mine. Still pretty crispy. First thing to know, the flavor is pretty close. The MSG definitely helped. Obviously. Crunch in this is much more delicate, although there's not much left in this. There, finally. All right, so let's taste the sauce. Oh. Right, so we got there, this is my sauce. My sauce is real good. Mine is definitely more complex. Obviously. Chicky nuggy plus the sauce. I think all things considered, we definitively won, but not exactly just by a landslide. The McDonald nugget, I think that they're decent. They're not like as bad as I thought they were, to be honest, but they also are still pretty, pretty depressing. I guess for this one, we'll have it my way. I missed the camera. But do you wanna know what else will have its way? B, <laughs> what? B-roll. And that is it. So, McChicky Nuggies in the bag. I think we did a wonderful job. You know, improving something that really isn't already that good is obviously not that hard, but this one particularly was challenging. I don't know why, it just was. I felt like the product that we got was a better product, but not necessarily in the way that I expected. It was still better, and the sauce helped a lot. Yeah, this was this was a fun one. As an upload on all the Butt Better series, I'm, I think I'm gonna be uploading one extra Butt Better per month, so I was doing two. Oh my God, I forgot to breathe. I think I'm gonna start doing three. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next.